Hello everyone, who ones? I am here for my review of Love and Hip Hop Family Reunion Season 1, Episode 4. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're one of my people, so welcome back. Now y'all, before we get into this review, I don't know if I want to continue doing Basketball Wives. I know I said that at the end of Season Eight, that I wasn't going to do it anymore because of the shenanigans that Shawnee, Evelyn, and the hypocrites did. But I totally missed last week's episode and I heard they was over there cutting up food. I was like, I don't even know if I have the energy to do this anymore. So I probably just watched other people's review and commented. But as far as watching and reviewing, I may watch it, but I'm not, I'm, I'm just tapped out on Basketball Wives. Like, if you haven't learned now, in your grown, grown age, I don't know how you're going to change. And it looks like they're trying to, you know, trinkle off into doing like an Atlanta version because we got Jennifer in Atlanta, Malaysia in Atlanta, who was Kirsten in Atlanta. Are they trying to switch it over to... Um, LA to Atlanta either way if those girls are going to be on it I don't know if I can do it I, I really don't so it looks like basketball wise season 9 is going to be no more on this channel but we're not here for that we're here for family reunion loving hip hop yeah the group are still at their Black Lives Matter um, dinner and they did they discussed voting and Trick says that this is like the first time he was, I don't know if it's the first time ever, but the first time in like 20 years that he's been able to vote. He's been out of prison for 26 years. So all those years he wasn't able to vote. Now, I don't know why, just because you've been in prison, I don't know why they should strip your right to vote. I, I believe if you win your sound, sound mind that, you know, you, you should be able to vote. But for whatever reason, that is the law of you, um, I think they may have changed it, but he's like, yeah, this is the first time that I've been able to vote in 26 years because he, I guess, had a felony on his record. I don't know how you having a felony on your record should disqualify you, but if y'all know the information behind that, please respectfully leave a comment below. Now, Trina is saying that men didn't want to see a woman president, and that's how Trump got into office. So I was like, that sounds about right. Because Hillary, despite whatever she has done in her past, was well more, way more qualified than Trump. And you see, how I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just going to leave it right there. Now, they get past that. It's the next morning. Yeah, they, they talk about voting and how a lot of people just didn't vote because they didn't want to see a woman president. They really see see the other person win, and he actually won. He's not president no more, so we're not even going, going to give him any, any shine on this, on this, um, on my page. Now, one, I don't know why April was in Trick's room early in the morning, and two, I don't know why he felt the need to tell us that April was outside working out, and she did not stay in his room. I'm like, Trick, you did not have to tell us that I know, and I'm pretty sure the other viewers know that April did not spend the night in your room. Don't know why you need to clear that up for us. We knew. Carly over treating her daughter, who was close to 30. Like, she a preteen. Daughter's like, can I get one of your, like, mesh ties? No, nah, you can't do that. You're my daughter. I will protect my daughter. I will do this for my daughter. Like, your daughter almost 30. Yes. Your daughter, 26 years old, and you treat her like she's somebody's preteen? Like, no. Are you out here wearing what you want to wear, and you what, 50, 45, and close to the 50th? Don't know Carly Red's age, and I'm trying to shame her. She can wear what she wants to. People can wear what they want to, whatever age. But I'm like, you wearing what you want to at your age? And I'm pretty sure you was wearing something similar when you was your daughter's age. Just saying. Don't know why she had to tell her she had a pass for Ray J. Don't know why, but I do know why, because it's Carly Ray. why she got to put it out there, implying that Ray and Jock are out here cheating, even during the pandemic. I was like, who told you? Like, you you, you got to take Carly with a you know, grain of salt, or a salt of grain, shout out to Mariah Lynn. But yeah. 
Bambi and Erica, they tried squashing their beef. And I was like, that beef is so old. It was so old. Erica, you didn't move on, had babies with somebody else. Bambi married to him now. Why are y'all fighting? It's like, they just want to pass things out for the kids. Imani was six, almost 16. Bambi and Scrap Mary got two kids, and I think she's pregnant again. I seen that somewhere. I believe I did. Don't get me the line. I thought I seen somewhere that she's pregnant again. But anyway, they happy. Like, all that fussing, all us a few years ago, we no longer like that. So we need to hash things out for these kids, and I was here for it. And it took them to hash things out for Scrap to be like, you know what? I can't have a cordial conversation with Erica. And I was like, yes. You could have. I mean, it was getting annoying at one point, these two going back and forth with each other. Now, the group having a good time. It's supposed to be like a block party. Jock set everything up. Peach cobbles representing Atlanta. Cheesecake representing New York. Some kind of sandwich is representing Miami. And like street corn and I want to say tacos represent, you know, Hollywood. Having a good time. And to tricks like you not eating that cheesecake right and starts licking his piece of cheesecake. And I was like, I could have went my whole entire life. 36 years without that's how old I am. I could have went that whole time without seeing Trick do that. Cause y'all, I love me some cheesecake. Cheesecake with strawberries on it. Delicious. Cheesecake, chocolate, oh, caramel, yes. And then I'm like, you said. Me, I just know the next time I eat a piece of cheesecake, Trick gonna pop in my mind and I ain't gonna want my cheesecake. I do not want Trick to ruin cheesecake for me, but it seems like that's what happened and I'm not here for it. Almost, I'm over here mad just thinking about it. Like, why would you do that? Everybody was looking like, why would you do that? What's wrong with eating? Well, I eat my cheesecake with a fork. But that's just me. And I guess it wasn't no fork since some jock was using a spoon. I would... <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle and throat. That is it. Nothing more. I would rather him eat it with a fork or a spoon. Seeing that. And then instead of you just licking that piece of cheesecake like that. It was unnecessary. It was wrong. And you should never do that again. So y'all, that was a just. If I left anything out by means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so my beautiful face. Put up a video. You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. You tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.